good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sister of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the title of this message is, Do You Acknowledge God in Everything You Do? Do You Acknowledge God in Everything You Do? And the first scripture reading really going to be coming from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lay not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Hallelujah. So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lay not on your own understanding. That is chapter 5, right there. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Then verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Do you acknowledge God in everything that you do today? Do you acknowledge Him? Do you acknowledge God in everything that you do? The reason why I'm saying that, or the reason why God brought this message or this topic out, is because some people do not you know, recognize God. This morning you were sleeping. You were sleeping and you do not know how you even wake up. Even on the news today, you heard on the news, so many people, some people died, some people left on the bed, they died. Some people, they were in the ship and, and they were in the ship capsule and some people was in the plane and the plane crashed and all these things that is going on. So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, you acknowledge God. Hallelujah. All, everything in your life, everything that is going on in your life, always acknowledge God. Because when you acknowledge Him, He's going to bless you more and more. So prior for chapter 3, verses 5, says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lay not on your own understanding. Then verse 6 says, you know, In all your way, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Hallelujah. And let me go on to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Commit your work, commit your works to the law, and, and your plan will be established. If you commit your work, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you, you commit it to God. And your plan will be established. Whatever, as long as you give, you say, God, this job I'm, I'm going to do, I gave it to you. Your plan will be established by God. Everything that you do, acknowledge God. There are some, one of my friends, long, you know, long time ago, he used to say, oh, man, you always like to, you know, he admired me. I would not say maybe the devil get in him to ask that question. But he realized that everything that I do, I always acknowledge God. It can be a little tiny, tiny. I will always acknowledge Him. And when you do that, then God is able to bless you with more and more. Because God saw the little one that He gave you, and you acknowledge Him. You bless Him for what He gave you. God is able to give you more. Hallelujah. I am not better than anyone. Right now, me, I'm, I was born into sin. But we can emulate and follow one another footsteps. That is why I'm doing this thing here right now. I'm not better than anyone. But because of God has, you know, ordained me to do this, so I have to do it. If I don't do it, He's gonna hold me responsible tomorrow. So I have to do it. But in doing it, I am not better than you. We are all sinners. It's just by the, the word of God, we are looking better. We are looking better because of the word of God. Hallelujah. So my brother and sister, you just have to follow someone's example. If that person is living a good life, you follow his example. And tomorrow your life is going to be better. Always acknowledge God. You're going to see. I put you the test. Acknowledge God. You'll see what, what's going to happen. Hallelujah. And let's go to James, James chapter 1 verse 5. There are people today who, when they have a little problem, you probably are going to go take an exam, 
They're going to go take a test. And they feel miserable. They feel uncomfortable. Uh, they feel the spirit of, you know, that spirit of heaviness or setback that they will not be able to, you know, accompany what they're going to go take. They will not be able to pass the test. No. Let me tell you something today. From the book of James chapter 1 for 5. And I read. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gave generously to all with all funny fault, and it will be given to you. When God gave you this thing, God did not find any fault to say, oh yeah, because you did this. No, God did not find your fault. God did not care about what you, what, what you did to him. God does not care. God is not like the devil, an eye for an eye. When the devil gave you something, or he gave you something, he want to get something more from you. If he gave you money, he want to take either your son or your daughter life. God is not like that. God gave it to you freely, generously. About Jesus, number one, for this five death stores. So my brother and sister, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Learn that on your own understanding. And the mean one, verse 6, acknowledge him. Acknowledge God. That is the topic today. Do you acknowledge God in what you do? Acknowledge God. You just tell him. Just recognize him. Just recognize him. In fact, just give it all to him. Hallelujah. And let us go with this. Do you acknowledge God this morning when you wake up from your bed? Do you? Do you acknowledge God before? First of all, let me start. Do you acknowledge God before you went to sleep last night? Do you acknowledge God this morning when you wake up from sleep? Do you acknowledge God before you have your breakfast or before you have your dinner? Do you acknowledge God? Do you? Do you acknowledge God when you get in your car to drive? Do you acknowledge Him? Because you, love, you never know some Christian driver going to come from nowhere and probably and slam into your car and kill you. But because you acknowledge God, if anything happened to you, straight, you go straight to heaven. Because you acknowledge God. You accept Jesus Christ, the Lord and personal Savior. You got down, you pray before you got in your car. And before that, that incident took place. Do you acknowledge God? Because all over the world right now, there are some drivers that don't have no experience, they just drive. They were going to kill you for no reason. Reaching. If you, we're gonna, you're gonna be right, but probably you're gonna be dead. But if you acknowledge God, you put God first in your life. If anything happens to you, my brother, you straight in heaven. You're gonna go to heaven. The life we live in is very, very short. Anything can happen. But when you acknowledge God, no worries. Hallelujah. No worries. And let me go with the other one. Do you acknowledge God when you go to work? Do you acknowledge it? Do you go in the closet or somewhere and say, oh God, to them, thank you. You be the controller of my life at the work side or the job side. You control my life. Your favor let it be upon me. That everybody should love me. Because of you, God. Do you? Do you acknowledge God when you go to work? Or you afraid? Or you want for the devil to intimidate you? You know the devil is so tricky. The devil will play on people's mind. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't touch it. Yeah. That traditional belief according to the book of 1 Corinthians. That's what the devil is going to manipulate your mind to tell you to do. 
You can go in your closet whatsoever, the bathroom, whatsoever, like the door, get down on your knees and pray to God, or what? You can pray to God. Say, so God, I'm going to start my day. You, you control me. Let your fear be upon me. And you're going to see. You're going to see. Yeah, continue doing it. You can say the last prayer. You'll see. God is going to stir them up. And you're going to be promoted. Your pay rate is going to increase. My brother, if you acknowledge God, you put God first. Matthew 6, 33, seeking your first the kingdom of heaven and in righteousness. And all these things that you want are going to be added unto you. My grandmother, that is her favorite Bible voice. I never knew until when I started growing up, then I knew the significance of that Bible voice. When you put God first, every other thing that you want is going to be added unto you. Do you acknowledge God? Do you? And let me go to the next one. Do you acknowledge God about the situation that you're in right now? What a good or bad? Do you acknowledge it? Because He knows everything. He, he checked the hearts of everyone. He knows everything. If you read from the book of the God of Time Fighter, if you read from the book of the Ecclesi in First Chronicles chapter 26, verse 9. The Lord knows the heart of anyone before you even ask for anything. He knows your heart. He knows what you're taking. He knows everything about you. He knows what you want. But He just won't for you to just say it out. He just won't for you to acknowledge it. Then He will direct your path. Hallelujah. Put God first in your life. You heard what Matthew chapter 7, verse 33 just said. Seeking your first the king of heaven and in righteousness. And all these things that you want are going to be added unto you. All, you know what all you want. You know it. But when you put God first, he going to, he going to bless you abundantly. My brothers and sisters, and acknowledge God in everything that you do. And he will direct your path. And he will bless you abundantly. He, he knows what you need. He knows right now what is in your heart. He knows your thought right now. But he just wants you to force it all. Just acknowledge him. When you eat, when you wake, before you go to sleep in the night, acknowledge him. Before, when you wake up in the morning, acknowledge him. When you get in your car to drive, you acknowledge him. Well, when you go to work, acknowledge him. The situation that you in just like that and nourish it. When you're on the wheel driving and nourish it. Oh, my brother, the situation that you in just like you think you are the only one who would have in that situation. But when you nourish God, God will take your ugly situation and make it a be a better situation and make it a shine. Because you nourish him. You see Solomon? Great Solomon. Solomon. He never asked God for nothing ever wasted. When God saw it in the scripture, when God saw it, God said, what? Solomon, you never asked for me to defend you? You never asked for me to you know, destroy your enemy? You asked for wisdom? God said, you know what? I'm going to give you that wisdom and give you double of what you never even asked for. Hallelujah. You see? Always acknowledge God. When you acknowledge him, God said, so don't put you know, revenge, retaliation. Don't do that. Then ask God for what you want and pray for your enemy and do good to your enemy. It look, it look, it's sounding very, very, you know, in a terrible way, but you gotta do that as a Christian. Do good to those who hate you. Hallelujah. And God is going to bless you and He will direct your path. Hallelujah. May God bless you and then message let it go deep down in our hearts for Christ's sake. Let us pray. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majestic, dominion, power, both now and forever. May God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen.